Oh god! Oh god! No! No! Hey! No! No! What? What? Huh? Oh! Damn! Bird, I'm cute guy! I'm about to say last! What's good, you old cutie pie? Sorry, Simba. Good morning, Lady Fluffington. How are you today? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad to see you're so happy. I guess, uh, Kazuki already left, huh? I guess it's like my husband or boyfriend. Yeah. You didn't drive him out, did you? No body scratchy? Yeah. Well, that settles it, I guess. You've been good with him lately, haven't you? No. The full and Kazakura shared your enthusiasm. Something tells me he got over it, though. That's how cat sounds. Do you have the... Wait, do you have to play right now? Very needy. All right, all right. <laughs> I just woke up Simba. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Would you hide your toys this time? All right, cool. Look at the laptop. That's a lot of reading. What's this? Kazuki must have been looking at it before he left. The shrine, red paint, it all patterns on the case of working on the last few... A shrine in red paint? Huh. Kazuki Kuro has been giving him hell. I think he's such a minor case and he's wasting precious police resources, but bullheaded as he always is, he won't give up. Can't say I get it either. Honestly, chasing after some weird kids and my is isn't the style. It's weird. He's been kind of obsessed about this case, and when I talk, when I ask him for the details, he shrugs me off. Maybe I'll ask him about it when he comes back. Where is he anyway? It's a bit of a exhausting being with someone who's on their on their schedule all the time. At least he bought coffee before he left. Otherwise, he'll be in a world of hurt. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel that I got coffee right here. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Hmm. Irish cream. Oh, bro. Oh. Oh, so good. I love coffee, bro. That's a nice day. It's a lovely day. That fucking like saving icon is so fucking creepy. What is this? Pick up cat. Mankey Neko is a lady from the toy and has suffered for months of her battling around it. If I see any while I'm out, I should pick one new one up. Who knows? They might even bring us good luck. Alright, I mean, I guess. Do like I'm like I okay look. They're, they're trying to, like, lure me into a false sense of security. But I fucking know. I'm going to get jump scared eventually. Because I'm feeling my, my like, my senses are down. Like, I'm relaxed. My shoulders aren't, like, puffed up, bro. I'm like, all right, I can calm down. But it's a trick. It's a fucking trick. Who's calling me? Who the fuck? One second, guys. God damn it, it was a scam call. Motherfuckers got me. Anyway, um. They're trying to lure me into a false sense of security. And I will not have it. It's the music though, it's kinda calm. But it's a trick! Don't fall for it. We ain't we're not we're not gonna fucking We ain't, we ain't leading our guard down. For life you may can't figure out why you love this thing so much. No, 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 no. Well, whatever other reasons, I'm glad it makes you have a happy little one. No. Sanity. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you cutie bye, bro! Answer the door. Oh hello Miss Donut. Interesting. Hello, neighbor! Oh, yeah, you mean, do you have, uh, do you want to come in? Nope, uh, be on my wait a minute. Wait a minute, where did we see a package like that before? Hmm? Six months in the future, that's where! But I wanted to drop this off first. It certainly has distinct odor. Ancient family recipe, creamy curry, do creamy curry donuts? I've never had curry, so I can't, I don't... I, I just don't think it works, but I don't know. I haven't seen curry, so I guess I can't really judge. Co Ooh, co so, uh, you now you know what? You sold me. Coconut honey curry powder, but the secret is the five hottest chilies that are hidden in the batter. I'm in a Mexican, so I guess it's fine. They have a, quite the kick. The bad boys will clean your soul with fire, inside and out. Yeah, your butthole about to look like... Never mind. Wait, uh, how are their chilies hidden in the batter, you mean? I'm not so sure. Uh, I don't need to thank your body will thank me after you eat them. Your butthole gonna explode though. But anyways, how've you been? All I've seen lately is a kidney store bucks, lunches, and junk food. You need to take care of yourself. I'll be happy to cook for you too if you want. You're welcome around anytime. How about tonight? Or maybe after you're done working sometime? Tonight might be a little tricky and our shifts can run a little late. 
Unless you're happy with dropping around 2 a.m. Hmm, you make a good point there, neighbor. It's bad enough with you climbing around at night. I am right beneath you, you know. Sorry, Yumi. You can't blame me the clomping on. You can blame the, the stomping on uh, Kazakui. Kazuku. I'm a light as a feather. Don't be sorry. It's a price of laying below someone so interesting. Then again, there was that one time you started singing at 4 a.m. You were shouting something about the night not being able to end until you sang some idol song. What was it again? Oh, it's okay. You can forget about that. Don't worry about it. To be honest, I liked it. It was reassuring to hear you loosen up and not be, you know, a loser. Plus, I think it gives me a window into the detective's, uh, Ito's real side. You know what I mean? I need to figure out how to fucking pronounce this name, seriously. My real side, huh? Well, I do like karaoke. I'm a phone dream. Then we should go some time. I can sing in English, too. I'm a pro. My girlfriend said I was half. I'm quite talented, you see. Damn! <laughs> That's my phone work. Oh, sorry. Bad word. Oh, okay. I should get going, but anyway... But... Oh, wait, I should get going anyway. But... Uh, I'm, I can't fucking pronounce names. Uh, ya mommy? A baddie? <laughs> Don't forget my offer, okay? Come in some time. I will. Sorry, Yumi. I gotta take this. Hi. Ito here. Kazuki, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Thanks for picking me up. I didn't know who else to call. I was wondering where you would wander off. Where are you calling me on the phone? You're not on the clock, are you? Sorry, I couldn't leave this one alone. I think I made a, I think I made a break. A big break. In what? The mystery of the broken coffee maker? <laughs> Nope, unfortunately, in that case, will remain unsolved. The shrine keeps I've been working on. I think I found a pattern. All the shrines are attached to people whose names are said Kawana. There are so many to write Kawana and Chinese characters that we didn't see the connection. It's like our suspect has gone up and down to Tokyo, going to shrine ones by one, looking for someone. That would explain how the pattern seems so random. It doesn't explain the weird markings of violence, either. No, but it's a start. I have a bit of a snoop, though. Records and I think she'll be in... Kamakura next. I'm heading there now. I can be there in a little hour. What do you need me to do? Thanks, uh, Mommy. I knew you were counting on you. I don't trust anyone else. I'm just about to arrive, so I'll get started on the legwork. Interviewing people in the area and seeing what they know. Meanwhile, you get here and I'll get more official stuff. Surveillance, footage, public records, and, a little, and the like. Not much to go on, but together, we should find something. Yeah. <sighs> so I guess the boring stuff... Uh, I guess I got the boring stuff serves me right for showing up late, huh? <laughs> I got you a drink after. I promise. Um, uh, you, Ayami, keep an eye out for red paint. It's been all the other crime scenes. I'll see you soon. And be careful. If I'm right, this person might be dangerous. Uh. If you jump scared me while I'm drinking my coffee, I would have punched you in the fucking coochie, bro. I swear to God. In retrospect. The way Kazuki sounded on the phone that day was off. Under his normal enthusiasm was hesitation. A little shaking in his voice that told me something was wrong. At the time, I chalked it up to overwork. After all, he hasn't been sleeping much in the week prior. But if only I had known he hasn't put up the wall of normality to hide away from it. Instead of explaining his obsession with the case and ignoring him as he tossed and turned, I have I should have talked to him. In all fairness, I wasn't the only one trying to ignore the reality. Kazuki was a fierce investigator, and once he grabbed a hold of something, he followed no matter how dangerous it was. He kept me in the dark as long as he could, but in the end, he needed me. So when he called me to try to get the best to laugh at his j and to joke, throw me off the scent. It worked. And it worked because I let it. The thing is, <clears throat> if, like, I, it's my first time meeting him, or like, seeing his character, but I could tell something was just slightly off. Like, so, I don't know, he just, eh. He just seemed like he was hiding something. <clears throat> or something was on his mind. Oh, sorry for the shake. Alright, where are we? Is we at the station? Enter. What's well, good? Ask out the station security. Welcome to Kamakura! I was actually looking for some information. Information? <laughs> well, you come to the right guy. Name's Marg. Magura, Magura, Mag, Era, Magura. Yes. You know that the. Um, did you know that I'm no mere station attendant, but a volunteer tour guide on my days off as well? A jack of all trades. <laughs> Please, can I get your number? I can see from the blank expression that you don't believe me, but I'm the best there ever was. 
I'm not even around from here. I can still tell you everything there is to know about this place. Guidebooks, maps, the internet? <laughs> Silly to toys for amateurs. I got it all up here. Right. Um, that's great. Magria, is that Japanese? Um, anyway, what kind of security do you guys have at the station? Are there many cameras set up around here? Uh, cameras, you say? I guess I should explain. I'm a detective with the Tokyo Monetation Police. Ah, see, I'm really less of a current events kind of guy, more of a uh, people and date sort. Some call me the master of time and identity. <laughs> These fucking glasses just shine. If I had a harness in my incredible knowledge and ability to examine minity of events, I could have become a great detective myself. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Well, okay, uh, this one's a bit more of your alley. Be best you. Can you tell me about the shrines around here? Maybe some of the ones beneath the path? Oh, I know, just down the street there's an old shrine and, and, yeah? The shrine is, uh, old and, um, nice. Go on. Okay, okay, so dates aren't really my thing. But it wasn't fair, you caught me unaware of that one. I really am quite knowledgeable. Yep, I believe you, so where is the shrine? Oh, that kind of threw me off. That was weird. Easy, just up the road to the right. Or was it down to the left? Sorry, detectives, directions aren't really my thing. I should arrest you for being a dumbass, honestly. Oh, I see. Well, you know, what do you know then? Um, well, the locals say it has a weird aura to it, see? Bet you didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I'll have a look around myself. Uh, thanks. I'm kind of a weirdo. Alright, let's get going. Why did I get creepy all of a sudden? I'm fucking sorry? Who said you can be terrifying? Nobody! I love the cherry blossom this time of year. Kazuki and I will attempt to arrange a picnic before they're gone. Damn, I thought this baddie wasn't taken. Oh, what the fuck? Red markings. Red paint, I guess. Kazuki's hunch was right, but why this house? I'll leave it for now. Brainsticks may be able to find something out of this. I'm sorry for the mic, I had to move it. Just walk. Shut up. The divide between the sacred and the immortal of the shrine, it must belong... It... Well, what? The shrine it belongs to must be up ahead. Okay. I don't like this. This is getting really creepy. Holy shit. Wait, what's that? I almost didn't see that! Oh, yeah? <clears throat> like, there's something floating on the river. This more has rest marks on it. I need to carefully shut up. I, want to, I don't want to be disturbed. Um, so it looks like there's hidden shit I can find. Okay. I really gotta be vigilant. Shoot to break free, what? Maybe I just want to be just floating in the river. No way I'll be able to break it with my bare hands, though. Shoot it? Really? Okay. I really shouldn't do that, but oh well, <laughs> there's no one around. <laughs> it seems the fastest way to get some bamboo. <laughs> oh, boy, I need bamboo. Let me just pull out the Glock. Oh, my God. Sanity, professionalism, bamboom. Like, this game has a lot of replayability. I might do a, vi like a single video that's like the alternate like options because want I'm really curious. Alright, use the bamboo. Use the bamboo, I can easily push the object out of the water without disturbing it. I trained past, and just like found a fun of red paint on it. I should go to. That is, that is kind of like red paint. I should go to the station where it belongs to. This is not creepy at all. Ah, oh, god, the music is so fucking creepy, dude. Oh, it's so fucking creepy. I don't like it, dog. I don't like it at all. Somebody with me, boy. Keep me safe. Enter. That's so fucking creepy. <clears throat> Hi! What can the great Itamagiri help you with? I found this computer pass on the, by the stream. Can you tell me who it belongs to? Yeah, sure, just, uh... Is that... Is that blood? Oh, the red markings? No, it's paint. I think. You think? Blood isn't really my thing. It's definitely not blood. Smell it. Smell? 
No, 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 I believe you're right. It's not blood. Hand that over. Okay, a little bit got on me, but that's fine. No problem. It's just paint. Nope, blood. No, not blood. Deep breaths. Right, sorry about that. Lost composure. Allow me to efficiently find the owner of this pass. Boop, 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 boop. Damn, this thing, I just swiped it again here. Ah, let's see. As fortunate would have it, I know the owner of this card. It belongs to Mai, the youngest daughter of the Kawana family. We've heard that name before. She, he said the whole thing going on with the, the case has to do with the name Kawana. At least I'm pretty sure. A very interesting family indeed. Oh, what makes you them so interesting? Well, they own a lot of land in the area, and have donated a considerable amount to the local shrine as well. I often see Maya working there. The house next to the, the station with the laundry hung up outside actually belongs to their, her grandmother. Except for Maya. They're all pretty clustered a lot. Surely, <clears throat> she's usually a very careful girl. I can't see her dropping her pass without coming to me about it. I don't know about these passes of her all. I'm the expert on the train passes. Maya's a good kid. You don't think she's gotten her involved with some nefarious types, do you? Not that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's nothing, but I wouldn't mind talking about it regardless. Well, if she's here, she's probably at her grandmother's. Anything else you'd like to know? That's all for now. Thanks. Hmm. Why does the music just suddenly get creepy, dude? It fucking pisses me off, man. It is. Knock. Look in. Dark room. Oop. Investigation. Nice. Covered in dust. Sort of believe someone actually lives in here. Any more investigations we can do? Any more? I really want to be thorough. Alright, let's go in, I guess. Then it's going to be in our home. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. What other options do we have? What's that? Okay! It's not like it came from behind me. Is it here? Oh, I was gonna knock again, too. That's... Nope, I'm good. Thanks, though. Goodbye! Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Nope, because I have to. God damn it. Okay. Here we go. Fuck me. Not literally, though. Let's do this. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, there's not ominous at all. Oh, God, yeah, that's not creepy at all. Wait, there's a cat. Oh, shit! Oh, they're collectibles! The cats! The cat toys? I can find them around and collect them. Cool. Don't know what it does for me, but I can do it. Um, focus, stress, professional, and stable. Okay. For the love of God. Oh. It's gives you an intrusion. I'm with the police. Is anyone here? Dude, I'm so fucking creeped out, man. Oh, God. Why well, gotta play this shit alone? Ah, uh, enter. Is there anything else we can look at? Don't do it. Don't fucking jump scare me. Don't you fucking do it. Hey, don't you fucking. All right. Oh god. Oh god. Who are you? How did you get into my house? Sorry, I didn't mean to startle to you. My name is Ito. I'm with the police. The door was unlocked. <laughs> you think because you're the police, you were locked through my door with impunity? I thought I locked the door. What did you say your name was? Not that it matters. Whoever you are, you shouldn't be here. You saw yourself in and you can see yourself out. The door? I know I locked it. Were you followed? Followed? No, I'm looking for your granddaughter, Maya, and I wanted to ask about you in the red markings outside. Maya? Uh, what do you want with her? She's a good girl. Leave her alone. The last thing I, I need is some police stuffing around my house when I came here. I wanted to be alone. So that's my family and I live in peace. All you're doing is drawing unwanted attention. Besides, I care for the superstitious markings. So you know about those marks? There were once some... There were once some who made marks on my like Lost a guy to those who passed into the spiritual plan more like it's a vandal. Shh, can't you hear that? Why, after all this time, Imiko, Imiko, is that you? No, she's gone. Why does it call to you so? Perhaps you can be the one to free me from this torment. Ah, uh, Perhaps these old bro ones have suffered long enough. If you want to leave then, then I'll give it to you. Whoa! Slow down! Give me what? What are you talking about? 
You'll hurt me, won't you? Take it from me. It wants to go with you. Oh god! Oh god! No! No! Hey! No! No! I'm good! No! I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't- No! No! Fuck! 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 I'm sorry, child. Sorry, what is this? I feel strange. Years we've been spending to answer that very question. For this years, I don't know. I have to get out of here, I'm sorry. Yes, take it away from this place. As soon as I touched it, it was as if the lens through which I viewed the world were jarred out of focus. My vision swirled and shifted, and my legs became limp in a wild smell of salt in my nostrils. I pushed my way back to the entrance and needed to get out of that house. Okay! Please. Okay. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you don't scare me. I'll fucking sue. No. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. Hmm. The way the students over me began to fade as I emerged from the old, musty, wanna house. Immediately, my mind began to write off what I experienced as a fluke. Feelings brought on by a lack of sleep and strange case. I had a few less full of the spring air, my headaches subsided, and the nausea loosened. Lori Sabbath took out the door with a strong emotion I felt holding the mask got farther away as well. Maybe it was the old corner woman who made my mind go to such a strange place. What other explanation could there be? As I walked away from the house, I stopped and broke into a cold sweat. My skin erupted in goosebumps. Something wasn't right. The mask was still firmly in my grasp. My knuckles had grown white from the gripping it so tightly. Why? What was I... Wait, why had I held on to it? Before I could think of an answer, a scream from the direction of the shrine broke through my, uh, muddled thoughts. See, I wanted to go to the shrine. <laughs> That's when I don't. I did the opposite. Because I'm smart. Never mind. There's nothing here. Fuck me. Okay, we're gonna. There are four birds now. That was not there before. I know that for a fact. It wasn't that lit. I can't. I don't know. Go to the shrine. Oh no! Don't do it. Wait a fucking minute. Oh right. This is the. She talked about this about a. We've been here before. The day of the shrine was I saw for the first time, the girl who Kanzaku had been chasing who had been his killer for six months later. Her eyes kept turning around, making her mental state impossible to read. Till that day, I'd never seen her, but she felt familiar. As I moved towards her, I began to feel uneasy. At half point, Maya kan Kanawa, who has been dragged here shortly after I arrived. Even in the warm spring of area, I remember a, sh a shiver around my spine. Oh, it's my man's. Kanaka, what's going on here? Everything's under control, yo. Stay behind me. Come on up. Look here, look at that badass. Who is she? Tell her to go away. If she doesn't, I do it. I swear. Please. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Please. Rina, this is my partner, Detective Ito. I told you she'd be coming, remember? See, she's staying right behind me. Just like I said she would. No one's trying to trick you. What took you so long, you tell anyway? Tread lightly and follow my lead. Draw a gun. Introduce yourself. I'll follow your lead. Your name's Reno, right? Yeah. Hi, Reno. My name's Amai. I'm a friend. Please, help me! You're not my friend. You don't know anything about me. I don't trust her. Keep her back! We won't take one more step, I promise. You know, my partner's a lot smarter than me. Maybe you should tell her what... You told me, but the voices in what you call it. All right, the dark. No, I don't want to talk about them. You said you make them stop. Can you really? Like I said, I've met other people like you. They were very sick, and they came with me, and I got them help when they got better. It's I'm sick. It's not real. That's right. Though I know it didn't seem that way. It's not your fault. It's not. No, of course not. I was out of position. I'll be scared too. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> That's right. No! You're wrong! You can't see at all what's down there. Eating everything up, eating me up. 
don't see anything, Rena. It's a beautiful spring day. Nothing more. There's nothing out to get you here. It, it's below us. All the time. It whispers, shows me things. Things it wants me to do. I can't eat. I can't sleep. There's nothing below us. I know it's confusing, but you've been sick a long time, and it won't get any better unless you come with us and let us help you. No, you're lying. You want to hurt me like everyone else. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it alone. I've always been alone. I need the mask. That's the only way to fix, fix this. So stay away. Rena, there's no mask here. I actually, I have one, but you know, that's besides the point. Isn't that right, Mia? Yeah, of course. I don't know anything about a special mask at this shrine. And Rena wouldn't lie about that, would she? There's no reason to hunt her, hurt her when she doesn't know anything, right? Quiet! The both of you! You're waking together! Ha! Is that right? I know it's here. Where is the mask? Where is the mask? Please stop! I don't know anything about it! I don't, I swear! Please let me go! Hey, hey, we talked about this earlier. Right now, violently makes everyone nervous. And people do silly things when they're nervous. Oh, look, I'm a sweet smile about that bitch. I don't know anything about you two, but it's hard to... Uh, okay, clearly an empty stomach and I'm starving. Are you too hungry? No, my favorite food is pizza. Hey, man, what's your favorite type of pizza? Pizza? You want to know about, um... I don't... No, I like... Mar... I don't know what that is. Well, a little boring, but classic. Oh, you know, what's your favorite pizza? I can get one brought in from you, all of us. If, what's your pleasant way of talking and opposed to... At that episode of Shrine, if you ask me. Pizza, but what about the... I promise we'll talk all about that stuff later, but first... Pizza. I like pizza, too. Before. Not now. Before? Before what, Rena? Maybe you can tell me about it. No, no, no! I don't want to talk about that. Besides, I can't eat. It makes me sick ever since that day. No! No, no! Stop thinking about it. Mom! Everyone! I know it seems impossible and that you have so many things to overcome before you get better. The sickness of the mind can affect the body too, and I bet once the dogs have a look at you, they can help you with that too. Hey, Eats, you can join us, right? Want you for a pizza? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna follow my partner's lead. You too? Seems like all oh, the raid. See, no one's trying to get you. Well, uh, do this peacefully. Stop! I don't want to hear any more of that. Don't you get it? I won't stop until I get it. What do you mean? Put the knife down, Rina. Then we can help you find whatever it is you're looking for. No, I know what you're doing. This bitch knows. You're hiding it from me, but I know this is the right one. I can feel it here. And if she doesn't give it to me, I'm going to make little Maya bleed. Rena, listen to me. I'm pretty sure if Maya knew anything about this mask, she'll tell you. Man, <laughs> not her. The one next to you. She said she was my friend. Why was she lying? I can hear them. I can see them all around her. Shadows. Voices. You mean to? She doesn't know anything about this, Rina. You're a little scared of her, and that fear explains your sickness. You have to trust that. <gasps> what you see isn't there. No, stop her lying. You don't get it. It's real. She's seen it. But why is, is it awake? Why, 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 why? What is, what is that? Can you hear it? The sounds it does there? Oh, is that? She's talking, I think she's talking about what we're hearing. Like the, ba like the background music, the ambiance. I'm pretty sure that's what she's talking about. No, 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 get back, can't you hear? Oh god, make it stop! You said you helped me, so make it stop! Please, make it stop, please! Oh, shit. Hell it. Uh. Shit. Should we tell them about a mask? Let's just give her the mask. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. I don't think she's lying, I think I've seen it. What the hell are you talking about? You must in the house back to his mouth and show me a mask. I knew it. You lied to me. You lied. Give it to me. Why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry. I don't know how I was supposed to know it had anything to do with this. Does this mean I'm not sick? That you wa Oh, I think we done Oof. Oof. I think we done fucked up. No, you lied to me. You said you weren't. Uh, that it wasn't real, but she's seen it. I can hear it. It's awake. It's awake. Stay back, I came here for that mask. I'll hurt her. I said I would if you lied. No one lied. This mask has. This mask you has. There must be dozens of just like it. No one else can hear anything. So let's all calm down and start over. I don't feel well. Yeah, hey, what's wrong? Why can't you hear it? It's screaming. Make it stop. Make it stop. She's saying that, but she looks happy. That's what's kind of throwing me off. Kessie Q, I'm sorry. Before that day... Possibility of overusing my gun on another human being never occurred to me. Yeah, my doing so was so 
but the failure to detect the sign that you hadn't sought to shoot through, and all options have failed. That man I knew would never point her gun at a girl. But suddenly, as I stood under the shadow blossom, that my uh, was replaced with someone else. I was a passenger in my own body, looking at her in a horror as a girl identical to me began to squeeze the trigger. My thoughts were lost in a din of a thousand terrified voices. I wish I could say I lost consciousness, or I didn't remember what I did, but that isn't true. I remember every moment, every second, and every face that looked at me in that horror. What I did. Kill her, kill her, kill her. Oh! Oh! Oh, I, I was gonna wait out the time, but it looks like I can't. Ha. Huh. Kind of a predicament. Well, the right is the right way to go, so do we use kill her or kill her? A lot of options, but, um, not too sure. Clicking around, maybe I can find something. Nope, we have to kill her. Okay, I guess we'll just... Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, such good coffee, man. I'm gonna go make another batch. Ito, what are you doing? Ito, put your weapon down. Don't do this. Kazuki's shouts never reached my ears. The world that I've been in moments before no longer existed. There was darkness, and in it was only me. The girl and the voice which told me to do one thing. So I did. <laughs>